Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 using the new Step Back DLC, which Paradox, of course, like I said before, did provide me with. So, but right now, we've already invaded the UK, which is looking pretty darn good over here. Um, Honestly, it wasn't that bad. We put a lot of planes in the ocean, and we've been slowly, slowly sinking some of the fleet here. But overall, we've been doing a couple more focuses off screen, such as. And I forgot to do some of them as well, but whatever. Foster Flying Clubs. New pilots are expensive to train if they have never seen a plane before they start training. But many young people are fascinated by flying with summer support that could grow into a very capable pilot that could pick up the finer points of air combat very quickly. And they already know the basics of piloting an aircraft, but women in aviation. In the past, backward elements in society had declared flying to be a man's field. However, women around the world have ignored this and have shown that they are every bit as good as their male colleagues. We should encourage our women to try their fly, ha, try their hand at flying, to select the most capable pilots among them, and then Ra Raskova's aviation group. Marina Raskova has proven herself an extremely capable navigator and pilot. With the resources stretched thin in the current war, we can't afford to let someone as experienced as her sit idly by the sidelines. We should give her the resources to raise a number of aviation units to support the struggle. And expand aviation institutes. The biggest bottleneck to increasing the size of our Air Force is our capacity for pilot training. By expanding our pilot schools, we'll lay the foundation for bigger, more competent Air Forces. Or bigger Air Force in general. So, overall, not too bad. We've just taken London, as you saw from the little event there. Um, really not bad at all, as we are slowly continuing to sink the enemy's navy. Hopefully, somewhere here. Uh, anti tank, why not? We can grab that. Oh. As we're losing ships, too. Or, I guess, planes, because. Well, they constantly like to naval invade us. I do love seeing them just, just drown. And get literally bombed to crap. Uh, we've not really done much against the, uh, on the Asian side here. Just because I wanted to focus on the UK first. I want to get rid of them as fast as possible. Hopefully Australia does not become a major power. Because my god, I will hate this campaign if, if they do. But it is what it is. But I hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Uh, yeah, kill them off please. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Ah, very beautiful. Ah, so good. Goodbye. And thank you. Three more destroyers. Oh, we have some more factories. Uh, what are we missing here? A lot of light tanks again. Advanced. Oh, advanced in here. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm getting another thing of that. Get some more light tanks. Why not? Because you can. If we need it. But overall, really, it's not too bad. So, especially with only like, what? These guys are 20 combo with? Not too bad overall. Like, really. Like, really nice. Oh, we have a German fleet there too. And of course, we have the French Commune doing well. We have Germany, which is sticking a little sticker claw thing into Italy, but whatever, in Lombardy. Ah, uh, keep sinking those destroyers. Eventually, you'll be able to sink some big old heavy cruisers. Even though they're he early, early heavy cru cruiser, we won. All right then. Now I gotta remember, we still have player peace conferences on, so we will have to divide this up appropriately. Pop, uh, Polish with winning Commonwealth. Honestly, probably just pop at them. As much as I, I think I might, when I play as Trotsky, I thought I'll probably just, someone wants me to annex everybody, so we'll see what happens with that. So maybe we'll just puppet them with the UK. Uh, French Congo, huh? Let's take a look here. Switzerland. Um, I, I honestly don't mind if people eat up Switzerland. I don't care about Switzerland that much. Finland, I want them as a puppet as well. Turkey, I want them as a puppet. Except, that I want Istanbul. And then we can puppet. Bulgaria, puppet them. New Zealand, Jordan, Israel, Pakistan, but oh my gosh. Uh, oh, we can't do that too quickly. There we go. Let's see what we got with that. That's not bad. Um, Iraq would not be bad either. You know what? We'll take Iraq. Puppet the Bulgarians? Yeah. No, we can do it again. No, we can puppet them. Iraq. It's not bad. Um. The UK though. The problem with the UK is that I want to I want to take them all. I want to puppet them, but I don't want them to be liberated. I want to own their colonies so we can get rid of these guys pretty easily. India, well, it's really bad. India, we'll take that too because we can, because we can. Um, there we go. Egypt. What do we have here? Conquer. Switzerland. Someone else took that. That's fine. Bulgaria. Egypt. All states puppet, uh, Bulgaria puppet. Wait, what? Macedonia, take all states. We can do that and give that territory back to them eventually. Um, Malta, that's actually a really good place, but just take it anyways. Malta doesn't need its independence. Neither does Qatar. Uh, Bahamas, we'll see. 
Go over the British Antilles. Some of these places, as much as I said I want to puppet them, I I'm just not interested. Uh, Canada would be nice to puppet. Oh, but someone else took all of Canada. Hmm. New Zealand. I'll do that. Can we do that with anyone else? Israel, yes. Australia, puppet them if we can, yes. Switzerland, Canada, Egypt. Alright. Ah, so I don't want to take them. That's fine. There you go. Cool. So the allies are done. Let's see how bad this peace deal is. All the comments included, though. Uh, we must continue with the great trial under Bukharin's watch, even if we don't lose. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, restoration development. Oh, look at that. Now the war is ended, we can return to developing our industries and peace and improve the life of our people. Well, we're not at peace. Uh, we did really well here. Union of Britain. Are you loved by Sir Oswald, Oswald Mosley? I'd love that so much. We're loved by some Harry Pullets. Some, some sort, sort, sort of Harry guy. You guys over there, though, can probably come all the way over here and... Actually, never mind. I don't want you to starve uh, from the supplies. The Commonwealth of the Polish... The Socialist Republics. Commonwealth Socialist Republics. Oh. Antanas Sneakus. Very cool. Or we could go off the check on time as well, if we really wanted to, but I don't really feel like it with this campaign. Um, so you do be looking nice. Can we give some territories back away? Uh, Communist China, no. Danish, return territory to Guangxi Clique. Return territory, Manchukuo. Netherlands, um... I don't know about that. Return territory, yeah. I don't want to do that stuff, there you go. Now, nah, that looks pretty nice. Looks kind of awkward, but whatever. Mikhail, good job, good job. Oh, United Cantons. Oh, pop of the French, very cool. Oh, we have Hungary still, huh? British Antilles, Turkish Socialist Republic, yeah, I don't think so. Um, release nations, which we cannot. Autonomous Soviet Republics, which is not necessarily a thing we want to do. Just a Dutch, it seems like we can return territory to. Yeah, that kind of sucks. It's alright, and who's in Iraq? Iraqi People's Republic? Nice, nice facial hair. You look like um, Liam Neeson a little bit. Jordan, man, you got some serious chins there. And then we have Mr. Jewish Shmuel. Can, can you imagine your name is Shmuel? Shmuel Mikunis. Cool. So now that we did all that, let's bring on a lot of planes. Let's see. I want to take you, uh, you thirteen hundred, and come on over to Korea and do the Sea of Japan if you can, please and thank you. Um, what do we have over here? 1,400. Oh, we have 1,400 fi just straight fighters. Nice. Uh, come over here and do that, too. Sea of Japan. See what we can do. And we'll begin preparing for the naval invasion over here, too. Not too many upgrades here. That's okay. Could become an infantry expert, but whatever. Uh, you guys are starving for supplies, which is really not good. Can I guys just do that. Just kill them off. And you guys are over here. You guys are over there, which is fine. Eastern Siberia is getting navally invaded again, like always. God dang it. Um, do that. So we're going to invade this part of Japan, hopefully. I hope it goes okay for us. You never know. The ally allies. Enemies do like to garrison themselves quite well. Sure, America, you want to walk through? Go ahead, Offland, and see what you can come up with. Um, don't really want to be too far away. Take the rails. The rails are nice to take, right? Cool. And raise penal units. Now we're good. We will go to glory, glory. It's not bad. Eh, we can do that. Why not? You'll live a happy life. More weekly stability seems pretty good. Damage garrison goes up, though. But more daily compliance growth speed. And yeah, you'll live, live, live a happy life. Absolutely. Plan reorganization. We can do this as well. Modify current tank designer. Oh. Heavy machinery, armor, soft attack, motorized equipment. Well, more factory outpost sounds pretty nice. Soft attack, production costs, sure, why not? Uh, close out of that one, close out of that one, we're good for now. We're going to the workplace, we dispatch the Soviet volunteer group as well. Race for the bomb. Ooh, we cannot allow others to develop an atom bomb before us. We must do whatever we can to ensure technological superiority is not threatened. Race for the bomb, the nuclear research speed, plus one. Yeah, I've never seen that one before, that's nice. Very nice. We're going to repair the Suez Canal. We're good. We don't really need local agent recruitment. Foreign influences, whatever. Uh, no, we're pretty good guys. And make sure we get our navy over here too. Which isn't a very good navy, but whatever. 
Um, honestly, I'd rather have you guys over here. So come on over all the way to Vladivostok. See what you all can do. Send half you guys out of here. And send the other half of you guys right here too. There we go. And we need it. Uh, well, supply base probably, honestly. Yeah, probably. Here, take one over here. Uh, sure. Oh boy. Well. Well, America's aggressor now. Thanks a lot, guys. Guess we're going in now. Why did you, why did the Czechs go to want to go to war with Bulgaria? That literally makes no sense. Dissolve the why, bro? We just got the aviation group done. All I want to do is kill off Japan. Um, radar, their cruiser hold armor probably. Uh, after this one, let's go in and do what? Come on, come on, game. Ah, it's a little laggy. Nah. Intensify pilot training program? We could. Yeah, why not? To be competitive, our Air Force must be able to fly and fight in all circumstances. The best way to achieve this is to train our pilots without very high standard. What we might lack in numbers or technical sophistication will make up with sheer skill. Yeah, this is what you get, Czechoslovakia. I don't understand why you wanted to go to war with us. It literally makes no sense why you want to go to war with us. I'm not going to capitulate America, unfortunately, for us, but... Oh, well. I just don't understand why they wanted to die so hard. Oh, floating harbor. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's get that. And then... Ship, 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 ship. I'm not sure how many of these we can actually make. Nice. Oops. I don't like how you click on it and then it's just auto-done. I don't like that very much. Um, yeah, we got you. Also, when we do deploy these guys, I want you guys to come over to Vladivostok now. Not Leningrad. Uh, actually, that one's over there in Leningrad is fine. So over there. Nice. Not bad. Um, America does have a couple things here. In the what is this? Japanese, like, Micronesia or something? Yeah. It is Japanese. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't know what they were expecting. I mean, honestly... Like, bro, how stupid do you have to be? Romania isn't... Oh. If we do this, they'll probably go to war with us as well. We're not in aggression pact with them, though, but... Hmm. This is so weird. Hopefully we don't lose too many people here, but you never know. Two Japanese destroyers, destroyers, let time go on a little bit more. Oh, I got some outdated stuff. Bosnia, okay, that sucks. This is super awkward. The Dutch, well, the Dutch have already gotten out there anyway, so. It's fine. Find them and kill them. Oh yeah, Red Jordan's gone. Oh crap! Seriously, why? If it, what? Mm. That didn't make no sense. Go in, go in. I know supplies are really bad. The thing all the guys are here was probably a really bad idea, but whatever. Go in. If you win fast enough, they won't. We won't have to worry about it too much. So lend lease, that's fine. Are we able to go? Hello. Sure you can have that. I don't really care. Actually, do you have a preferred tactic? No, you don't, huh? You will find tactic. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, that's so stupid. I hate this so much. Yeah. America wanted to burn. Just try to break out of here as best you can. 
We have no one up here, though, which kind of does suck, but whatever. Oh my god. I hate this so much. Why? Why did it be so difficult to take out? Get you guys up here, too. Come on. Come on. You gotta break out. You gotta keep going. Keep going. Keep going. No matter what happens. This is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Ah. Oh. I might just go back and just kill them off anyways. Because this is completely unfair and not, not right. Yeah. Hmm. Just sneak attacks like this? Are you kidding me? Yeah, let's come, let's come over here. A couple guys here and there. Come on, game. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, 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 you three. Y'all just go in best you can. I don't want to. My biggest fear is that we're going to lose this army. I mean, honestly, you should be able to take Belgrade right now. I don't want to see, so... If you take Belgrade, that should be it, right? Oh, it'd be best to be fighting like, like your life depends on it, because it quite literally does. I mean, why? Why is that in the focus tree for Czechoslovakia? It literally makes no sense. Well, at least we got Bucharest. That's nice. We'll, we'll be able to win and push out of here soon enough. We do have quite a few allies helping out stop the uh, flow of enemies coming in. Ooh, American convoys are here. What, what? American convoys. Can you not suck, guys? Seriously. But a little supply base because you guys can't do very well there, can you? Anything else happening over here? More American. Why are there so many Americans here? Uh, can we go in? We try it. They are pushing out here pretty nicely, though. How is Serbia not giving up? Seriously, where's, why is Serbia not giving up? Okay, now they're giving up. Now that's nice. This is definitely not the way I wanted to take out the Balkans, but you know, whatever. Got a big old Bulgarian boy. Have we landed? Mm, not quite yet. We're working on it. Working on it. And Romania's gone. Thank God. Good job, guys. Go in there. Take more railroads. Keep going down here. Go all the way to Hiroshima if you can. Which is where they do. Osaka, very good. Kosovo's gone. Good, good. You guys are just not doing anything. All right, then. Oh, Japanese armor. Well, it's a little, a little bit too late for that. Thank you. And I was in Zukov over here to have, uh, I guess a good time down here first, I guess. Oh my god, stop with the stupid fallback lines, please. Thank you very much. And where are you guys at? Y'all down here, you're gonna get killed if you go up that way, so. Hmm. Probably gonna die doing this, but whatever. Completely surround them. Again, a lot better than earlier. Apologize for a little bit of uh, being frustrated with this. It's just sometimes it's so annoying. Like, bro, come on. You want to sneak attack me? Sneak attack my divisions. And we still beat the crap out of you. <laughs> Look how far they got. Oh, stupid checks. Even if we were to try to attack, they wouldn't be very good. Oh, uh, Czechoslovakian operative captured. Yeah. The checks are sneaky little bastards. Kind of enjoying the trick on time. Well, that's nice. Come on, guys, get in there. Uh, actually, send you here. That'd be good. Oh, I got the Chinese divisions in there too, huh? Nagoya, very good. Nice. Did we lose anything here? We lost some subs. So you can see some convoys though. More convoys. Oh, nice. Bojvedin is gone. Japanese operative captured. Very nice. Keep going. How many operatives do the Czechs have? Holy crap. Nagita. 
Very nice, very nice, very nice. Can you grow any slower? Actually, yes, I can. Holy crap, they can go very slow. Come on. Uh, right there. Come on. Oh my god. Ah, Montenegro's gone too. A lot of supply issues. Lots and lots of supply issues. Nice. 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 Bosnia's gone, as they should be. Ooh, a heavy cruiser. Nice. Another heavy cruiser and destroyer. Three destroyers. Ten destroyers and a light cruiser. Very good. Nice. Convoys. Good. Not bad, not bad. Um, since we're over here anyways. A lot of planes. Goodbye, Croatia. We don't have an airbase over here yet? Oh, that kind of sucks. It's alright, though. Alrighty, tidy. So, let's see. Where are we at now? Uh, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should keep keep Commissar's organization or military political advisors. And overall, the time of this recording, there's more support for the political military advisors. So, we will go with this one. Uh, war, war is not merely a contrast between nations about resources. It is a contrast of contest of political systems. While we shouldn't be let political considerations dictate military decisions, we still have to ensure that these political considerations are accounted for when this decision is reached. Cool. Not bad, not bad. Keep getting more subby daddies. Yes, yes. Sub fathers are very nice. Ooh, we lost some subbies. Actually, uh, what's this like? Vadi Vladimir? I don't say Vadim. Nice. Ladder shooting. Good. Um, very, very good. Keep going. You're doing a great job. All or nothing cruiser scheme. Nice. So we're here anyway. Some of you guys should be able to like, go up there or go down here. Not bad. Chikokui? Quo? Huh. Anything there anything there? There you go, you know that one. My god. I mean, you stupid idiots. Why are you all going down there? Do we not close off the Suez? Ah, oh, they have National Spain there too. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really be bothered too much about that stuff. Kill them all off. Kill them all off. You know, I just want Japan. We lost some sub, that sucks. But it seems like we're doing quite well here. Quite well. A lot of screens go bye bye. Nice. Where the hell are your divisions? Why are you all going there? We need more than that, just up here. I'll go to here, to here, to here. El Mori. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Oh, not bad. Pretty good, pretty good. <sighs> we lost 1.1 million, huh? Eh, it is what it is. Japan's pretty close to capitulating. Once we get these islands down here, we'll be okay. Nice. Cool. Hey, at least you broke over. Now we're encircled, though. Why the hell did you guys get encircled? I swear, man. Oh, you didn't get encircled. You're close. You're very close, though. Let's go to Nagasaki. Please, just go to Nagasaki. I thought the guns were like, oh my goodness, why? They're not even moving in, though. It's nice. I wish our Vladimir here. Got a little bit more in terms of, like, experience. I think that'd be very nice. But maybe that's just me. Cool. Oh, Bukharan. 
definitely did okay in this run. Definitely did okay. No great trial for now. I guess no nukes for either for now as well, but whatever. Tanks are just really disappointing. The supply is not that bad here. I swear to God, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. This is so stupid. Then, then leave. I mean, honestly, like, I know supplies not great, but it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. Get out of there. You all suck. You should feel bad about yourself, tanks. You should really feel bad about yourselves. Um, how do we lose Osaka? Bro. Dude. Come on, man. How have they not capitulated? Oh, Japan. Keep going in. Keep going. Sapporo. Keep losing subbies, 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 and chubbies. Uh, you guys go up there. It's fine. They haven't lost any divisions yet, which is pretty good. Um, oh, we won. Oh, we got it early too. Look at that. I do apologize for being a little bit raging this one, just because there's just some minor frustrating things I just don't like. I just do not like sometimes. Puppet you guys and puppet the Japanese. I want to make sure Japan gets all the stuff back, because I don't want to deal with it. And I want to make sure the Americans don't get any of Japan, too. That's not bad. We'll take South Sakhalin as well. Uh, you know what? We'll release Korea. You know that, you know that, you know that. There you go. We're taking this. And uh, Manchukuo. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Might be a bit much for us. Nice. Can we take anything else? 97. Alright. Looking really ugly if we don't get this all connected, so... Okay, my god, come on. Oh my god, oh my, I hate, mm, I hate not having peace conference zones. I apologize, it's just, oh, it's so frustrating, the peace deal, why? After five years, why can we not have a good peace deal thing? It just makes more sense if we just divide it up between ourselves. Give me all Korea then. If we can, really some great, if not, whatever. Uh, Venezuela, liberated to the communist China. You know what? Screw it. We'll do that one. Uh, let's close out of that one. I think here, Japan, Mexico, Siam. I'd just rather take it. And maybe we can give that territory back to somebody. Uh, yeah, just take whatever we can grab at this point. That is so ugly. Alright, not terrible, not great, but not terrible. And if America wants to take stuff, well, we're going to take the field in Venezuela. Oh, darn it, we can't. We can take this part. El Salvador is going to look really good under us, too. Oh, I love it. I love these peace deals. After five years of being, for existing, Hoy Force still has god-awful peace deal system. Thanks, Paradox, though. I appreciate, uh... Oh, this is so bad. Um, oh my gosh, this is so bad. Are we still fighting? Yeah. The Greeks... How the Greeks a major power? Oh my goodness. What? I've returned? That's nice, MacArthur. That's so nice. Hey, this looks pretty good. This looks pretty nice, though. This looks pretty decent from from my perspective. Palmiro Togliati? Not bad, not bad. Uh, who else do we have here? Anyone else? I'm sure expert. Yeah, I prefer that one. Uh, People's Indian People's Republic? Very nice. Uh, China. Communist China has never looked better. <laughs> Machuco, of course. Oh, let's look at Japan here. It's a kind of different shade of white. It's almost like a peach color. Led by Mr. Balding Man. Um, what else do we have here? Anything else? Got okay, a lot of subs or convoys. South Africa looking kind of thick. Oh, overall, not too bad. Not great, but not bad. Hello, who is this? Is this Hispanic Latin? No, oh, it's a Latin block. Can we release anybody? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, actually, yeah, that's fine. You can have Chinese People's Republic. Wait, Chinese People's Republic. 
Oh, we have two Chinas here. Oh, it's my bad. Uh-oh. That's so disgusting. Huh. Oh, my goodness. That's so bad. Uh, the one thing I would like to see, though, in an update, like, we should be able to return territory. This doesn't make any sense why we can't. I get that we need to do the Autonomous Republic one, but, like, this is really disgusting. We, we, we need to have a return territory. We, and by doing this, I, I don't understand why we have to do Autonomous Soviet Republics when we're not doing Autonomous Soviet Republics. Let's see. Autonomous. Yeah, it's this one. So, there's that one. Under Trotsky, so. Hey, uh, we could keep going with this one, but I don't know. Actually, no, we gotta keep going with this one just for the common good. We need to be at peace, so at this point, I don't really, I don't want to take anyone else out. I'm kind of done with this campaign. So, what does this one do? We need planned economy. We need back to the NEP. We need to be at peace for this, so. At this point, I don't really care. I don't really care. I feel like we've done really, really well overall. We've taken out the Japanese. We've taken out continental Europe. We've taken out the UK, of all things. And I just don't really care about taking out America. But that That's just not a lot of fun. So, let's open up cons commands. Do F-A and focus dot uh, no checks. Just because I I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to anymore. Because <laughs> it's already 1945 and invading America is going to be god-awful. So, the power of the peasantry. Well, more th Marxist orthodoxy put the revolutionary potential in the industrial workers in our country. It's obvious that it is the peasants that form the bulk of it. We need to educate the millions of farmers and develop their class consciousness so that they will be eager to defend the revolution when it is under attack. Back to the NEP. Before we can build a social society, we must create the fundamentals and further develop our economy. In the early years of the revolution, we instituted the new economic policy, which allowed free market mechanics to grow up the economy. The policy was quickly reversed long before it could bear fruit. Now that we're backing in charge, we can restart the aborted process towards a better society. The trade union is a labor as a labor organizer. Under capitalism, labor unions exist to ensure basic human rights for the workers and defend off the exploitation from the factory owners. This is obviously no longer needed in the new system, and therefore the role of the labor union must shift towards organizing labor for the purpose of optimizing production. Pace industrialization. While Stalin's singular focus on heavy industry has led to significant underdevelopment in many sectors, we can't ignore the sector in our own plane. In order to have or allow other sectors to modernize and mechanize, we all have to have industrial base to support it. A sustainable economy. The shift towards the NEP has come with a marked shift towards producing consumer goods. At the cost of a sore overall speed of industrialization, it were to be competitive in the long term. We need to shift the economy towards a more sustainable model. Plan economy. While it has its flaws, it is obvious that the NEP has also had a number of successes. We're still a long ways away from being able to switch to a fully socialist society, but we can now proceed towards planning our economy in a more formal manner. <clears throat> In particular, we should create an econ economic policy that takes the abilities of our partners and allies into account and creates a more interdependent economy. That's plan economy. Oh, it's not bad. Lack of resource penalty. For each subject adopting the NEP, extra factory output and better lack of resource penalty. Nice. International Revolutionary Marxism. The Third International failed to stall in its totalitarianism and is probably beyond saving. We need to offer the communist parties of the world a new way to coordinate and cooperate. Comfort will be known as the International Revolutionary Marxist Center. Cool. We gain International Socialist uh, Association. Oh, that's cool. Uh, wait, the International Socialist Association the opinion goes down. What the heck? Enemies of the people. The forces of reaction are still out there plotting for the day that they can undo everything we've achieved. We and our allies must be forever vigilant against the threat and prepare for the eventuality that we have to fight to defend the revolution. Oh, we get a public war go against Estonia. A lot of people get Estonia. Enemies of the people. Proclaim Soviet hegemony. It's clear that the Soviet system of government, the Soviet economy, and the Soviet society are vastly superior in every aspect of the systems that came before. While these outdated systems endure in other parts of the world, there will always be people willing to contest them and sh we should utilize them. That's nice. For the common good. The governing principles of any decisions made by our allies has to be to do the most good whenever possible. Even at first, sacrifices are not met by an immediate improvement. It must be made clear that in the long run, this does the most good. For the common good. If they accept, they get some better stuff. Oh, nice. They accept. Cool. Victory over devastation. The collective efforts of our people have enabled us to move forward from the destruction caused by civil war. The speed with which the country rebuilt will forever stand as a monument to the skills and dedication of our workers. Socialist humanism. There are some Marxist theories or theorists out there who believe that humans don't have any agency in their own fates, and that their lives are completely determined by material factors. This is obviously wrong, and indeed shows a bourgeois view on the working class. People are more than just a set of organs, and we should treat them as such. You can notice slot. Nice. Oh, we lose population, though. Um, I think that's going to be it for me, just because that's so stupid that, uh... Why would the Czechs go to war with Bulgaria? Seriously. But one thing I would like to say, the one thing I would like to see in the future is... Why, why, why can't we have a Cold War? Like, it literally makes no sense here. Like, America's all the way over here. They literally have nowhere to get in, inside, basically, for the most part. For the most part. Um, 
into the Mediterranean, especially once we close it off. Like, there should be a way to have a like Cold War setup scenario, just so that you're at peace with other people. Because right now, it doesn't make any sense. Why would America continue the fight when they basically lost the fight? But hey, regardless, playing as Nikolai Bukharin was a lot of fun and a, definitely a different take of the, on the Soviet Union, which I actually really, really, really quite enjoyed. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.